All right, everyone, thanks for tuning back in for part two of working on the camper 1972 Starcraft camper restoration rebuild. Uh, saving it. Yeah, we're just going to turn it into a workshop storage thing for now. But yeah, if you looked at part one, you'll see that we had quite the adventure getting it home. But yeah, it is home now. So we got some floor in there. And now we are going to be working on the ceiling, bracing up the ceiling so that it doesn't cave in. Because, yeah, that thing's looking like it was sagging pretty bad. But yeah, we've already got a little bit of support in. We're going to do some more. So check out this episode. All right, we're starting to work on the ceiling and walls here uh, we got this rubber thing that's in the way so we're just gonna rip this out hopefully this isn't the last thing holding the roof on yeah look at that this roof definitely needs some extra support here it's supposed to be way up there this board's rotten yeah that's gonna take some work start by ripping this rubber out I'm going to put some 2x4s up along the ridge here. You get a nice carpet dirty. Okay. Okay. Putting up a board to support our roof here. Mm-hmm. All right. So we've lifted that quite a bit. We gotta do another to this side still. And then we gotta brace our cross beams here. We got some metal that we're gonna put on some of them. And hopefully that'll do the trick. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're putting some metal up on these beams here so that we give them some strength because they're not so strong at the edges because they're rotting away, but what we're doing is adding steel and it reaches over onto a 2x4 that we put down the edge there. So we got an ironclad beam now and then on this side and we did it both directions. So it's supported on both edges here. Yeah, that thing's nice and tough. All right, so here we are. We're making some decent progress. We got all these black metal beams uh, sistered up to a lot of these ceiling beams. And it's not perfect, but it's adding a lot of strength to them. We'll maybe revisit, add a few more before we put up some kind of ceiling. But now... We're no longer dropping down and ready to lose our roof. Okay, we got the ceiling braced up. Now we're looking to the next step here. So we're going to try pulling one of these panels in, see how well it fits. And that's a possibility of uh, some wall coverings here. So let's go see what's going on. All right, unfortunately it's getting dark early tonight. Horrible weather. Wisconsin winter. It's only like 720 and it's already pretty dark as you can see. Uh, it's only gonna get worse. It's like the first week of September. It's gonna get dark before I get home from work soon. But yeah, so we're thinking of maybe doing something like this for wall covering. Um, unfortunately, we made more work for ourselves over there with that upper two by four because this thing fits like perfect floor to ceiling, except where we added the two by four. Now the upper part sticks out an inch and a half. Yeah, so we have to think, think what we, what we want to do here. Do we want to cut these panels so they fit under the two by four? Or do we want to add maybe a two by four in the middle, two by four in the bottom, or maybe not even a two by four, but like, uh, two by two or something just so it bumps out but then we got waviness in the middle 
or do we remove our two by fours because we've used these black things as bracing to extend over further and hope that the original upper piece of wood is enough. I don't know. We have to think about it. And it's getting dark. So dark that we can barely even see the kitty down there. There's this black kitty that just blended into the blackness. Yeah. So thinking, thinking about what to do. All right, one last thing we're going to try and do to put in the camper. We are going to see if we can get a bench size to fit in the front here. Probably ain't going to work. This thing's pretty thick, but yeah, we're going to try cutting this here. fabric that's what's causing the problem I'm just hacking through the fabric once I'm through the fabric it hits the wood just fine <laughs> crazy we should have brought a knife out It would have been a lot quicker just to go in and grab the knife. <laughs> We're so close to meeting up. <sighs> Trying to race the dark. Get done before the dark comes. No. There we go. There's a stubby one. And then there's a big bench. Uh -huh. Wow, whoever would have thought fabric defeated the Milwaukee. Okay, excellent. Okay, we're trying to get our bench in, but we're having some problems here. It's not fitting through the hole. Okay, let's see if it'll fit through the doorway. Here we are, it's getting darker and darker by the minute, but yeah, we got our bench. Coming in through the door now. It wouldn't fit through the back, but let's hope it fits through here. We're halfway in. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna do it. Okay. Okay, no more. Like this. And then we turn the corner. And yep, come up and in a little more. Okay. Then, let's push it in a little further so it's not blocking the door. It's pretty good for now. Stepping on something, can't see nothing because it's dark. Definitely need some lights in here. But yeah. All right. No sitting on this, it'll just roll backwards, but that's it for tonight. Um, so we got ceiling braced up. We looked at some of the panels that we might put on the walls. We got some ideas for that, so you'll have to just make sure you keep watching to see those ideas. And we got a seat in here, so, all right. All right, there we are ending our second day of working on the third. Yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Maybe we'll rename it, maybe we won't. So yeah, got dark. Got dark too quick. Coming along though. It's a decent project. We're not wanting to, hey, we got more light now. We're not wanting to spend a ton of time on this either. We got a lot of other things to do. So, 
going to do it quick and hasty. Working on this 1972 StarCraft camper. There it is.